You're watching 13 on your side. We begin tonight with a Republican candidate who hopes to be the next congressman in the 3rd District. John Gibbs spoke in Grand Rapids tonight. Early this morning, he was officially declared the winner, narrowly beating incumbent Peter Meyer. 13 on your side's Nate Belt joins us now with his surprising introduction. Yeah, Juliet Meyer conceded the race to Gibbs before it was officially called. Now tonight, he joined Gibbs at the Kent County GOP headquarters in a show of party unity. While Gibbs' opponent in the general election says she's ready for him, political experts say the Democrats played a dangerous game putting money into his campaign. A surreal evening is how John Gibbs described unseating Peter Meyer for the U.S. Congressional 3rd District seat the day afterwards, continuing to tout his support from the former president. President Trump called and one of the things he said was, uh, take a vacation tomorrow for about two hours. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have to hit the ground running pretty hard here really soon. Gibbs says he's now set to make himself more familiar with the big names within the party to help him win the general election. Meeting with all of us stakeholders in our big tent, uh, maybe those who are with me as well as those who uh, um, maybe have a different view on certain things. His opponent in the general, Democrat Hillary Skolton, who feels confident after the primary. We were prepared to face either Republican who came out of the, the Republican primary contest. You know, the, the contrasts between me and, and the two opponents are so stark. She says in the hours after the race was called, even some Republicans have voiced support. We've had supporters of Congressman Meyer reach out to us and want to get involved in our campaign. Meyer himself, on the other hand, at the GOP headquarters to introduce Gibbs before his speech. It was, you know, a, a long race, but a race that John ran very well. Send my congratulations and wish you the best of luck and all that is to come. Gibbs appears to be the beneficiary of Democratic support, with the party spending more than $400,000 on an ad campaign for Gibbs, believing him to be the easier candidate for Skolton to beat. Political experts say that's a risky game to play after Meyer showed willingness to vote across party lines. It's a dangerous strategy. It's also when you look long sighted, the idea that Adam Kinzinger said today that here we did the right thing, you patted us on the back, and then you cost us our seats. Democrats now will have to wait to see if their strategy pays off with the general election still months away in November. Julia. Nate, thank you.